what's up y'all i just want y'all i just want to ask y'all a question have you ever ran from god well i don't know i was just sitting here and like i told everyone <laughs> but especially tiktok because i'm sharing it on tiktok my journey i'm reading the entire bible from beginning to end right but I was just sitting here thinking about the book of Job because to me, I think that is going to be my second favorite book in the Bible. My first is the book of Job, but the second is the book of Joel, J-O-E-L. Now, the book of Joel, Joel <laughs> is basically God told Joel to do something. And Joel was like, basically, I don't want to do it. Everybody in the Bible that God tells them to do something, they, they really don't want to do it. Or if they do want to do it, they want to know how long it's going to take. They want to know this and that and another. But Joel absolutely didn't want to do it. So Joel ran. He ran to go on a cruise. <laughs> right? So he went on this cruise. I don't know if he was partying or what, but he went to sleep comfortably. And while he was sleeping, God brought a storm, a really bad storm that was about to make the ship wreck to this cruise. I'm, I'm calling it a cruise, but it was a boat with sailors on it. That's what the Bible says, but I'm calling it a cruise. So all the sailors on the cruise was asking around who they, who, what God y'all pray to and everybody. And Job said, I pray to Lord our God, our Father. And then Job told them straight up, the reason why he brought the storm here is because of me. I wouldn't listen to him. I ran the other way. I didn't want to do what he wanted me to do. So, I ran. I took off. <laughs> so, um, the sailors on the boat was telling him, please pray to your God and whatever is why they and Joel told them to throw him overboard. It was like, throw me overboard and the storm would stop. So once they throw him overboard, guess what? A big fish ate him. And while he was in the fish belly still complaining, you know, he was in there for three days. But once he prayed to God and told God that, hey, I do your task, God let him free. And he went to go do the task. But at the same time, Joel wasn't really thrilled to do the task. <laughs> he had to go to, I think it was Israel or Jerusalem, and tell them that God was coming and stuff like that. And when he told them that, how about they straighten up their act, started repenting and praying to God. So God said, I'm not going to give them any destruction because they changed their ways. And Joel got very upset with God. And he laid under the tree. God had covered him with shade, but had worms eat up the shade. I mean, eat up the leaves that was covering him. So he got very hot and bothered. <laughs> but who who else has been through a, a thing where you know God tell you to do something and you don't do it? And you feel like that God is just like, punishing you I know in my lifetime I felt like that plenty of times and the punishment don't be I mean sometimes it be hard sometimes it don't but I, I be listening I be listening but I'm stubborn and I know plenty of y'all probably feel this way but y'all need to go read the book of Joel it's really relatable to me I don't know, but I think you would like it too. I was just sharing this with you. Please subscribe to my channel. I am a new creator and I want to make more videos. I am going to make more videos. I think I need just, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm making more videos. I want to put more videos out there about my walk with Christ, about my reselling, about my life, about my, whenever I start taking back vacations, about what's going on, about this and about that. 
you know but you know I'm an open book and I do talk a little controversial sometimes especially if y'all um, go to my TikTok the link is in the bio I think my TikTok is my link but it's um, still Risa Riri and it's uh, I put my title name the crazy Christian lady but yeah I talk about everything I like to I'm a kind of person I don't really like to talk about the fluff I like to get I like to talk about politics religion the good the bad and the ugly I'm not a fluff kind of girl and I think that's the whole thing of me being an introvert me being an introvert um introverts like to conversate but we don't like the fluff <laughs> We rather have our solitude than the fluff. And that's what I think. Period. <laughs> but I like making videos. I always wanted to do kind of this kind of stuff as a kid. So I thank God. God provided us with it. You know, the devil infiltrated everything. So, hey, it is what it is. I'm ready for the good feedback. I'm ready for the bad feedback. And bad feedback is just constructive criticism it helps me grow so please leave a comment like subscribe please subscribe please subscribe and have a fabulous day bye